second. And again, over the shorter journey, and they're off and racing. And down towards the centre of the line, Supreme Stride got away okay. Goes in search of the lead. Three chances as mustering speed on the inner to hold it, however. And they go together. They were followed by Village Rebel in third up on the inside and Purple Shade settles fourth and that quartet gets three or four lengths in front there of Comedy Candy. Two lengths to Pageantry and Better Pay Me's at the tail of the field. Well, as they run down the back straight, nine seconds the lead time and from Barrier 1, three chances was able to hold the lead by a half to Supreme Stride. Third locked away is Village Rebel and back in fourth spot is Purple Shades and they were followed by Comedy Candy and Pageantry and better pay me as last of all at the 1,200 metres. The first quarter was 29.8 as they run off the back straight, and these two are going stride for stride up front. It's three chances on the inside and supreme stride. There's not much at all between them. In third spot on the inside is Village Rebel, and they are being followed next of all by Purple Shades, who's having a gun run in behind them. Further back in the field then is Comedy Candy, Better Pay Me and Pageantry on the outside and the dark blue jackets near the rear. They greet the judge with one round left to go and now getting the head in front of Supreme Stride. 31.1 second quarter, 60 and 9 the half. Again hunting through his three chances and they've been at each other the whole race. In third spot, Village Rebel hasn't spent a penny and so too has, or nor too has Purple Shades. And again that quartet opened up a break over Comedy Candy, Better Pay Me and Pageantry. It's three chances, a narrow leader. Supreme Stride is second parked. Third on the inside is Village Rebel and then came Purple Shades. Better Pay Me tries to work around the outside of Comedy Candy but spots the leader six and about five away dropping right out of the fight here is Pageantry. It's three chances and Supreme Stride. They're still at each other as they come for home. 28-5 the quarter. Now Purple Shades is letting down with its run. In behind those runners then is Village Rebel and chiming in is Better Pay Me. Big finish coming up. Supreme Stride in the middle has put the nose in front. Three Three chances is kicking. Three chances kicked enough and three chances came back to win it. Beat Supreme Stride and Better Pay Me. And then Purple Shades, Village Rebel, further back Comedy Candy. Pageantry was last of all. They were tied up the straight, but three chances was the fittest. And uh, we'll get the job done. Three chances. Three chances, Rob Morrison, Kerry Ann Turner, a Mac 3 delightful chance gelding, owned by Jay Anderson, B. Anderson, D. Stevens, A. Smith, R. Woods. Gee, he's done a good job uh, for them, this bloke, uh, that group of connections. Another fighting performance in 158.8. 158.8, no number in the frame yet, however. So stand by for the result. There it is confirmed. One is the winner. One is the winner, three chances. Rob Morrison, Kerry Ann Turner has now won three from four this term, doing a terrific job, beats three supreme stride. Five better pay me gets third. And uh, just in behind those was Purple Shades, who was battling away to get fourth. One, three, five and two in 2084. 158, eight the mile rate after the running of race number two. Three chances has been able to score his owner's association eligible, so picks up the $500 cash and the $500 breeders' certificates via Harness Racing New South Wales. So Peter Dewsbury representing the New South Wales Owners' Association. He'll have the big check in preparation for the presentation, no doubt. The winner of the race, three chances, has now made it three from four this campaign. Half neck and nose. Half neck by a nose, the margins. Half neck and nose. Half neck and nose. Quarters for the race. On the back of a nine second lead time, a 29 8, 31 1, 28 5. And that uh, last quarter, it was 28 9, uh, 29 8. So uh, got home in a sub-30, but they were uh, really just about out on their feet up the straight, but three chances outstayed them. Robert Morris and Kerry Ann Turner picking up where they left off at the uh, end of last season. Beats the three, denying Todd and John McCarthy the first two. There goes all clear now. The all clear 
1352 it's right to pay